today, the Nassau Coliseum is celebrating a major milestone. It turns 50 years old today. And as we look back, make sure you scan the QR code. You see it there on the bottom of your screen. It's got all a whole bunch of Coliseum memories dating back to over the past 50 years. I mean, think about what the old barn has done. It's hosted the likes of Elvis Presley, Whitney Houston, the Beach Boys, and four straight Stanley Cup titles. News tells Macy Eglin is outside the Coliseum right now with more. Good morning, Macy. Good morning, Rich. You have so much history here at the Nassau Coliseum, and we are speaking with the man who knows everything there is to know about the Nassau Coliseum because he literally wrote the book on it. This is the only book about the Nassau Coliseum in existence, and Professor Nicholas Hershon is here with me this morning. He wrote it. I mean, you pro we've all seen these. We've all seen these books everywhere around, right? So, I mean, there is so much history within these walls of the Nassau Coliseum right behind us, and now we have this great book on it. What, what is it about the Coliseum that inspired you to write this? Well, like so many people in this region, I grew up going to events at Nassau Coliseum over the years. I show as most prominently New York Islanders games, and they're dear and near to my heart. Um, I think this is something that is, uh, you know, Long Island really arrived on the sports map with Nassau Coliseum coming here. There are so many people across the United States who don't recognize the location unless it has a major sports team. That's what happened when Nassau Coliseum opened in 1972 on this night. Yeah, it really did put us on the map for sure and helped our economy as well. So in your research and writing this book, what really stood out as far as memories from the Coliseum? Just the kind of legacy of success yeah. that all the teams that played at Nassau Coliseum had. Of course, everyone knows about the New York Islanders winning the four straight Stanley Cups in the early 1980s and all of the great Hall of Fame players whose names are in the rafters here for so many years. But then you have teams like the New York Sets was a tennis team that played inside here with Billie Jean King and Virginia Wade. You have a major indoor soccer here and football and all of these, of course, then major musical acts. There were rallies held here with Gerald Ford when he was president and Richard Nixon. And so when you look at just that legacy of all of these events that Long Island may have never been able to get, never able to land if not for this wonderful building that means so much to so many Long Islanders. It really does. And really quickly, uh, now that the Islanders are at UBS Arena, what does the future look like for the Nassau Coliseum now? I think it's very uncertain. I think a lot of people are kind of concerned about what the future might look like and how long will this building be able to survive if only the Long Island Nats and the New York Riptide are playing there currently. Um, we're hoping that uh, this building does have a future, though. Yeah, I mean, it does have a full roster on its event schedule right now. I know Elton John is playing at the beginning of March, so a lot of people looking forward to that. Uh, Professor Hershon, thank you for your time. And the book is available. I mean, you've seen it. You can get it online on Amazon, too, as well. So thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you. We'll send it back to you guys. Such a great sporting history. I used to go there for Dragons football games, right? by the way. Yeah. Arena football. Me Remember too. that? Yes. Love that. Hey, check this out on our website, news12.com. We've got an entire page dedicated to Coliseum memories throughout the last 50 years. Again, you see the QR code there, scan that. It'll take you right to this page or walk down memory lane for sure. And if you'd like to share your favorite moments, use the hashtag 